So in this video, I'm going to show you how to put back together the SR63. The last video I showed you how to disassemble it. Now we're going to assemble it back. We start with the hand grip and the fire selector. So first, this part just goes in here. Here we'll click. Then this part. Um, it's the one with this notch goes to the left side of the gun and this part goes to the right. Then to engage it back make sure that they are in the same position and that those teeth engage with the part will be put there already. So make sure they're both leveled and have a good engagement with the gears. Hold them so they don't fall out. First I would uh, take back, put back the right switch. Fire selector, just put it back like that. And tighten the screw. other side again be careful with this small pin and spring put the pin and the spring on the fire selector like this and I flip it over so the pin doesn't fall out when I install it Push it in. Okay. Tighten the screw on this side. Now you can test if everything works. Looks good. Then we put it back on semi again. Very important to put back the gearbox. Here's this fake uh, button again. This cover, we just slide in like this and put the spring on top. Then we take our gearbox. Be careful that all the cables are in the right position. Nothing gets pinched and then place it inside. So just place the motor first inside and then carefully pull it in. I press the trigger to avoid uh, touching the spring, otherwise it might jump off till here. And then be careful with the fire selector. There is on this plastic piece, there's a notch for this uh, selector part and align it before you press it in. Like this. There should not be too much force needed. If it doesn't go quite easy, um, check if there's some cable pinched or anything. Then we can put back this pin. Check if everything is aligned. Looks good. and put it back like this. Then we have the screw on the back side of the motor. And we can put back the spring. Just slide in the spring. and then push it with some flat screwdriver. Push it inside and rotate it by 90 degrees so it locks in this position. 
should be flush here. Then it's in the right position and lock it with the screw. You can apply some tiny bit of blue screw glue to this screw. Um, sometimes on the vibration of the gun, this screw might get loose. It still should not be an issue. The spring guide is secure, but um, it can help to just add a little bit of screw glue here. Okay. Then we can assemble back the hop-up chamber and barrel. First, put your bucking back on the barrel. Then slide in the barrel into the hop chamber. Be careful on one side is the hop-up window. In this window, you can feel it through the bucking, has to be on this side where the hop-up arm presses down. So here's this uh, red tensioner, the rubber tensioner and the hop-up arm, this is up and also the hop-up window should be up. Then just slide it in all the way. There is this small spacer which stabilizes the barrel in the chamber. Just put it back there. Then we put back the hop-up wheel and the tensioner, like the, the connector part between the rubber tensioner and the hop-up wheel. It has this um, small arm which goes into the wheel and the concave shape on the bottom presses on the tensioner. So place it back there. Push it in a little bit and then slide over the hop-up wheel. Now you can check if it works, if the hop-up arm moves. You can check through the window if the bucking gets pushed down when you turn the wheel and then you know it's in right position. Then put back the C-clip. Here those two cutouts on the barrel, they should be aligned on the sides and then just push in the C-clip. Put back the spring and slide it in into the outer barrel. Now this side is up with those two screw holes here and again the part with the hop-up arm is on top. Slide in like this and rotate by 90 degrees, then it's locked. Then we can assemble back the grip with the gearbox into our body. Therefore, place the back side of the hand grip into this hook and just slide in the same way as we put it out. Be careful again to not punch, pinch any cables. And just slide it in. The cables go through here. Good. Then we have the one screw on the back, which holds the gearbox in place. And then we can put back the outer barrel assembly. Lift the cables, do not pinch them, be careful. And just slide in the whole assembly like this. 
um, be careful that this the chamber slides all the way in and locks with the gearbox otherwise there might be some cable pinched or the yeah this tronion here is not in the um, slides where it should be in position then this cable goes under here and we put back this here so now our cable is secured under it we don't need to uh, think about it when we change the batteries i like it like this if you want to use different type of uh, cable adjustment it's up to you Then we put back those two screws, just push them in. For this screw, push in the whole barrel a little bit. You can see it's spring loaded here, that this hole aligns. And push back this screw. I hold the nut from the other side so you don't push it out when you screw in that screw. And last two screws here on the top. Put back this um, cover again. I tuck it under like this so it's not in the way. Just put back those two screws. Also, don't over tighten them, really just make them flush so they don't pop out. But I would not tighten those screws too much, otherwise, you might have difficulties to disassemble it next time or you have too much pressure on the outer barrel. Good. Then we can put back the magwell, hook it in like this, watch your cables that they are not in the way, just tuck them under a little bit and we'll flip it down like that. Then those pins, they are different. Um, the one for the magwell has a small o-ring on the end and like a cross shape. This is very important that you align this cross with the cross on the magwell. Otherwise it won't go all the way in. So align it carefully. And then push it through. The handguard just slide back. And this last pin from left side. Boom. Done. 